Man, if you had somebody to make unique enemy designs for you, if you don't have uh, what it takes, then this game could be one of the better ones out there. Hello people and welcome to Nico Evaluates Dragon Man Reignited. So this is one of those Sage demos that uh, has been going around. I wasn't going to uh, evaluate any more demos from Sage, at least not yet, maybe later on, but but here we are. So this is uh, a Mega Man fan game that does not apparently uh, have Mega Man in it, at least I don't think so. It looks like it doesn't, but I could be wrong. Sometimes you just want to make games that play like Mega Man, but necessarily don't uh, portray Mega Man as the protagonist. It can be good and fun. Dragon Man Reignited is a game set in the Mega Man universe, taking a new spin on the refined, classic NES style. Starring the titular Dragon Man, a long forgotten fan game character brought back in polished pixel art glory. Long forgotten, but this is the first time I've heard of it. Eight all new Robot Masters are yours to take on in a mysterious tournament. Will you be up to take the challenge of taking home the glimmering trophy? So is this like the Iron Fist tournament from Tekken? Sage demo. Demo features an intro cutscene with words to read. <laughs> That's nice. So this is uh, obviously done uh, in a humorous way. I understand. Uh, developed by Baby Chef. Well, like I said, I was not going to evaluate this or any other demo anytime soon, but uh, this was sent to me yesterday, which I find very interesting. Uh, this is from the developer on a public forum, uh, Baby Chef. Oh good, I don't care if he likes, that's me, if he likes DMR, that's the game. I just think his channel is kinda cringe. And I dread having Nico evaluates being like the top thing when you search my game. Ouch. It hurts, man, my god. So I just found that interesting. Uh, of course, the terminology I find uh, very telling. The word cringe is usually used by very young children, so it's not... Uh, it's not surprising that a message like this would go public. I mean, all you can really do is to provide the best experience you can. Use all the skill you have, provide the most fun experience. And if you truly believe in your creation, you don't have to listen to every goddamn critic out there. You don't have to listen to me. Who am I? I'm nobody to you. We don't even know each other. So you gotta just relax, sit back and believe in what you do. As long as you believe in your own work, it should not be a problem. If one person doesn't like your game, who the hell cares? It's their opinion, like it is mine. The thing is that you don't get to be insecure when you create something. If you're insecure, you don't believe in your own product, then nobody's gonna believe in it. And I know you wrote that you don't care what I say or I don't say about it, but then at the same time, in the same sentence, you didn't want the game to be in the top search results if it's my channel. So that is kinda contradicting itself. We're all small players here, nobody gives a shit. I mean, if you just don't care about somebody, you don't have to say it out loud, just ignore them. What does it matter if my channel has your game in it and it's the top search result? As long as you know what you don't like, and as long as you know what to not watch, it should not affect you in any way. But the fact that you don't care about my channel should also mean at the same time that it doesn't matter if my channel is the top search result for your game or not. So I'm not sure what's uh, at play here. And in cases like this, it's just not about me. You gotta mention somebody else. As a developer, that is probably something you wanna keep to yourself. Cause that shit is gonna fly out there and you know it. It's a bit of a personal lesson. So that's something to think about. But I'm probably talking to Tin Air, cause uh, if he doesn't like the channel, he's not gonna watch the video, so... <laughs> But to anyone else who might be a developer or might be in, in a similar field, you gotta be a bit careful how you express yourself online. It can lead to uh, dire situations for yourself. You still get to have opinions, but you just have to uh, think a little bit how you want to avoid it. Because uh, obviously uh, things like these can uh, produce quite, quite a big problems, not just to the uh, developer themselves, but, but the game itself might suffer. Because it gives out a certain vibe. Not to me, I don't give a shit, but somebody else might. So just gotta be careful uh, 
But that's enough of that. Uh, we've processed it, it's behind us. Let's look at the game. Well, it looks like your typical Mega Mix engine game, so you've got all the goodies here. Enforce pellet, I don't know what that means. Oh, NES. Okay, that seems pretty nice. That's a good idea. Filter. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Someday I still wish that I had a CRT make playing certain retro games more fun, but man, that takes a lot of room. Even when I have a house, I don't feel like carrying an entire CRT here and just, where, where am I gonna put it? In my office? In the living room? In the fucking kitchen? I just got no place for it. Maybe in the garage, make like a gaming den in there, but then again I don't play any games, so what am I gonna, so what am I gonna do with that? Just the idea of a CRT is... Sounds fun to me. Got a lot of things here. Life candor, yes. There's a lot of shit here, holy hell. What the hell is MMMG? Got no idea what some of these are. You probably somehow like tell me what those mean. Perfect full screen, well, can't ask for a bad full screen. Checkpoint not. <laughs> Notification maybe? I don't know. I <laughs> got no idea. We don't need checkpoint notifications. We are not children. So where's the cutscene? I need to see the cutscene again. I missed it. One tower looms above the crowded mega city. It's said a fearsome robot inhabits these walls alone. That is, if said robot even still lives today. I do like the atmosphere. It's pretty good. That's me, all right. Quite spooky. Isn't anything else on? Under government supervision, the second ever robot tournament begins. Registration is only still open for one more lucky challenger. Is that Bright Man in the background right there on Gravity Man? For a chance at one million zenny and a grand prize trophy. Hello, I'm a robot. Can I have money? I mean, this definitely seems fishy, but that magnificent trophy... That's it, I'll enter to get to the bottom of it, and maybe earn a bit extra. It's finally time for the dragon to get his revenge. Revenge on what? I've got no context. Some kind of revenge, I mean, he's, he wants to enter a, a tournament to kill other robots to revenge something, but we don't know what the something is, maybe, maybe the story tells itself. Why are we loading a game? I have not played this yet. Oh, we got difficulty options. Interesting. Play after beating normal, extra boss attacks and harder levels. Well, like I said in my like Mega Man 10 evaluation, like I'm having a hard time justifying why you have uh, extra moves for Robot Masters on hard mode and you strip them from the normal mode, because that's essentially you're missing out on content. Like make the Robot Master as good as you can and, and then just like make that the Robot Master. You don't have to strip out certain things. It's strange, because now if I pick normal, I'm not gonna see all the moves they can make. But I am gonna pick normal, that said. It's just my personal opinion, and a lot of people seem to agree. Uh, it's kind of a weird decision. I like how it's uh, advertising infinite lives. Why can't this be in the options? It's like, please pick infinite lives, be one of us. That's a no from me, dog. Okay, shop. Does it work yet? What's going on with the Met people? So these are looking like sprite alterations. You've taken Crash Man, you've taken a Concrete Man, and then just redone them on top of themselves. I mean, which can work, but usually doesn't, but guess we'll see. Tremble Woman. Yeah, why not? It's literally a Concrete Man and Bright Man's bulb. Okay. Well, it's a demo, I mean, maybe that's just a placeholder. Meth coil. Holy hell, that, that, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alright, the menu seems to be working well. So it is the Mega Mix engine, I'm pretty sure. So everything works as you'd expect it to. Looks like my dash button is quite horrible, so I'm gonna have to redo that. Is there an easy way to do it? Configure controls. Uh-oh. Oh shit, I pressed escape. Someday, like, people who make games on the Mega Mix engine will provide a 
some kind of window to ask the player if they're sure they want to exit. Configure gamepad this time. Well, now we have a dash button in the correct place. Seems to work fine, I mean, it's... You can shoot three times on the ground, three times in the air. All that's just fine and dandy right there. Interesting, uh... What? I don't even know, <laughs> I don't know what that is. That kills you. <laughs> okay. I mean, usually when you... I'm just gonna game over here. Usually when you make a spike, you make it look like a spike. I don't even... I don't really know what that is. Looks like a scrap metal. So that's a valuable lesson right there, I, I, I think. Oh, that's a nice charge. Holy... That's pretty cool. So I'm guessing you're using the engine assets. Of course, eating away from originality. Like, I, I'm not 100% uh, positive what's, what's an engine asset and what's not, but... Because I have not used the Mega Mix engine. Uh, this is the problem with uh, curved edges. You can uh, li literally stand on nothing. Gotta be careful about it. Gotta be careful with those. So there is some item down here. Probably a bolt. Yeah, I know. It's a gem, but the bolt. You know what it is. So I guess we were supposed to come down here. That's an interesting ladder, got some uh, cracks on it. So we could come here and kill ourselves if we want. <laughs> okay. What if I mess this up? Does that thing come back? Yes, they come back. Good. Okay. It's an interesting start to level. Using a lot of assets, of course. Uh, just recoloring or uh, reimagining sprites. It could do with uh, an actual sprite artist in the game. Let's see, those are spikes, of course, they look like spikes. Could maybe color them different. Would make it uh, pop out more and look better. Or something like, like orange or something for the spikes. Unless you want them to be hidden. Just an idea. The background is looking nice, but the foreground is kind of boring. The big guys take less hits uh, than usual, which is fine. Okay, so we're just like moving right on a perfectly plain level. There's no going up or down, you just go right. Which can get boring if it continues for too long. Okay, that's Scotsman for some reason, jumping up without animation. He's acting like somebody is dragging him with a cursor. <laughs> like he's got no animation at all. But again, you have to remember that this is a demo, and these are probably just all concepts. But I'm just talking about the things that I see, just in case they are finalized. Like, how do I know? I don't, hence why I mention. Isn't that our met friend right there? Probably can't get to him. Interesting. Enemy right there. Got bright man platforms, okay. Don't have a teaching limit on the, the right on uh, pit. So the game assumes that you've played Mega Man 4 before. And the funny part about this is that the sprite was uh, done on Commando Man and Bright Man sprites, and it has. Well, not elements from both, but like stage ideas from both, pretty much. Something like uh, this would fit Commando Man's uh, stage. If you think about it, this is uh, interesting. Can I land the Met on this? Yes, I can. That's pretty cool. Got stuck on the spikes, too. Oh god. Can I land in on this? Yes. Holy hell, stop right there, criminal scum. Can I get up there with this? Yes, I can. So that's all in perfect working order. But my issue right now is, like I said, uh, the stage is just you going right and nothing else. You don't go up or down or anything else. So it is very linear, which Mega Man usually isn't. I mean, it's a linear game in a sense, but you don't just keep going in one direction and nothing, nothing changing around you. That's usually never uh, something that happens. Now these energies and prices are too easy to get, in my opinion. That's probably the stage right here. Nope. 
Oh god, a Scotsman and his revenge. I do like the effect when he lands. We're getting the eternal treatment right there. No, so that was not the boss, that was just a meat boss. Everything takes considerably less amount of uh, hits in this game. It's really easy so far. I should have probably picked hard, but I didn't know, so... Well, uh, hello there. Oh, fuck! Okay. Oh. Can't really hear the music, because he's making a lot of ra ruckus. So far, seems pretty cool. I mean, the pattern is kind of mellow. It's really easy to understand. You just stay as far away from him as possible. Not sure how I got hit there. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Well, that was just bad. I admit to my fault there. Yeah, the second one is easy. Don't... <laughs> God. Okay. I'm not fully understanding. No. What to do? He okay, there we go. Well, I got it there. So he only has these two patterns on normal mode. Uh, well, that's a trophy right there. <laughs> I don't fully understand. Uh, like I said, the difficulty options, like maybe on hard mode he's got like four different attacks and this only has two. See, it kind of makes the Robot Master like a pushover, it makes it seem like dumber than it is. That's one of the big reasons why I don't like uh, difficulty options where uh, the Robot Masters themselves get changed. It's not something that pleases me, but you know, that's just me. But. As you saw there, it can make the Robot Masters feel underwhelming. Uh, kinda empty feeling. Glaze woman. That sounds wrong on many levels. What's uh, your deal? How have you been changed? The color is different from uh, Chillman's counterpart. Well, that was a lot of hits. <laughs> you got fun ice mechanics. And the ice mechanics correctly end here. This uh, level looks pretty good. I like the colors. It looks really nice. Holy hell. So these do not collide in the walls, but the other uh, enemy the shots do uh, explode. Down or rise? I'm guessing this is a secret. Yeah. Or it's just another path, maybe. We have to check both. So having an easy Mega Man game is not bad. There's probably one reason uh, he says when I mean, he gets hit immediately. That's probably one reason why it has difficulty options. Why is there a spike at the top? Uh, we need games like this. Of course. We, we need the rock and rolls. We need uh, games where uh, they're a bit easier. And then you still have the difficulty options. Uh, I'm intrigued to know what kind of changes it has. So despite, oh god, despite using a lot of assets and despite just modifying existing sprites, the game is doing a pretty good job at portraying itself and in a way that I still, I still think that the game is taking itself seriously enough. Sure, it has a lot of humor in it, but usually these kind of games that have uh, sprite reworks and nothing else. They're kind of hollow and usually I just don't want to play them. So this is one case where uh, I want to use the dash. So I should not use the uh, normal method. So here down and uh, jump doesn't work as the dash because there's a ladder. Not that you would use it that way anyway, but you know what I mean. But this game uh, has some charm in it where uh, I would say if, if you had if you had a sprite artist who could actually make their own sprites from the beginning, not sure if you do already, but if you could make a unique game, your stage design is at a point where uh, I could take it seriously. Uh, and I do feel pretty good about your stage design so far. And look at that, that's pretty cool. 
And I understood what to do there immediately. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but... Man, if you had somebody to make unique enemy designs for you, if you don't have uh, what it takes, then this game could be one of the better ones out there. Right now, as it is, it, it, there is still the, the there's still that small feeling uh, of dread when I, mean, I know that well, these are just re recolors of existing sprites and they're just modifications. It kind of still eats my soul, but it's not bad. It is actually far away from bad. It has a lot of good ideas. What is this? The teaching element and what happens? That's pretty, that's a pretty good teaching element actually. Yeah, really interesting there. So let's see how that comes into play, other other than slowing us down, of course. I just have to time that. Really good. And the uh, dash works out for the game pretty well. I was not sure of it first, but it does uh, suit the game. <clears throat> Comparing uh, the main protagonist, the Dragon Man sprite, to everything else, he could also use some improvements. I think where you struggle is Robot Master designs, you struggle with the enemy designs, hence why you're using a lot of assets that uh, already exist. This is a pickle right here. Oh, I'm probably not even supposed to go up there. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. My bad. But yeah, if you could like, uh oh, get somebody to help with the graphics, this would be pretty interesting. Not saying that it isn't already, but you know what I mean. Because your stage uh, layouts and such, uh, they're pretty good. That's me dead. No, it's not. Like, pixel perfect, I guess. I think you're milking this mechanic for a bit too long. But now it's over, so that's, that's fine. There, I see the spikes. I see them. I think those are spikes. I'm not sure how I avoid them. Oh, that's a hole up there! Well, I was also gonna... Oh, immediately a checkpoint here, because... I just died on this part, so you knew it was a hard section. <laughs> In any case... What I was gonna say is that your level looks a lot better than your sprites. So your tiling work... I don't care if it's borrowed or not, but... I mean, it looks like it is, but if it's original or not, I don't care, but it looks a lot better. I, you know how to match colors. Like, the colors in this level are really good. I like them. They're really, really fun to look at. And then your sprite work is kind of, eh. Like, Dragon Man, he looks kind of stale. Like, he, he, the green hue that he has is... I think that's the uh, thing that's throwing me off here a little bit. Like, it, it, your stage looks better than anything else. What does this fellow have to say to us? We brought a coat. Oh, this is like a like a DuckTales thing. If somebody like, likes those kind of things, then that's pretty cute, I suppose. It's not anything that I care for, but I know that there's people who uh, like that kind of thing. So who am I gonna say uh, and take that away from them? Your game is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Despite lacking in some areas, I think uh, this could really be, be something if you uh, kept at it. I'm just a little disappointed that, that you decided to uh, post what you did, but hey, we're all uh, individuals. I don't feel bad about it, it's just... I just wonder why, uh, why that's something that you would, why that is something that you would say uh, online. But oh well, it's not here or there. Uh, I understand. Life's hard. Be cool, robot master. I keep jumping into his attack. I keep jumping into uh, their attack. <laughs> but again, you have the same kind of issue as previously. Only like two attacks. The only thing that I really have to do is to never jump and just stay here. That's the whole pattern. So your patterns are a bit lacking with the Robot Masters, I feel like. But then, I'm sure if I went to hard mode to check them out, they would be a lot better. Maybe we'll do that for one boss and see what the difference is, because I'm really intrigued about that. Because like this, you see what the issue is. Oh, he didn't jump this time. But you see what the issue is with the Robot Masters, you probably know that already. 
Like, I'm probably telling you stuff that you already know. In any case, uh, we have another episode of this. Uh, so if you agreed on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, leave a dislike. I'll catch you next time.